thanks to a man named Jesper that bought my shirt from the You Only Live Once video on eBay. We were assuming it was going to go for like 20, 30 bucks, but it ended up going for $800. And we put all that money into buying toys for kids. Merry Christmas. We didn't want to go out of our way to be like, oh, we have to show that we're being charitable. We have to do this. It was more so the fact that, like, hey, we can do this. We can go out of our way and make other people happy. And hey, if we're doing this, might as well put it in the public eye. Why, why, why wouldn't we? Let's let's show let's shove all the stereotypes down the drain. And the idea came between us just literally talking in like a group email. What could we do? What, what would you guys like to do with the money? And as opposed to like, oh, we're gonna just drop it off at a charity. Let's let's make this fun. Let's go actually shopping for people, and then actually go and deliver them, hand deliver them to to anybody, to kids, to anything. Like he was talking about earlier, seeing the reaction on someone's face when you give them a gift. It it made everything not only worth it, but I would have gone out of my way and done that by myself. You know, the the, the reaction was so rewarding. We walk in, they're all like, just like, yeah, like stoked. Yeah, and I was like, all right, this is gonna be cool because I didn't know how it was gonna go. Yeah, yeah. I felt like I was. In I think like, actually, everyone was more nervous to do that about, than we were prior to going on stage and playing the show. It was like, oh, yeah. how do we do this? Like, do, what do we say? It's it like, just awesome, man. You know, and I got, I was like, what? Who are we? Are we in room five? Are we? Fucking Ben Folds 3? Ben Folds? Are we Ben Folds 5? Are we the Jackson 4? Are we the Jackson 4? I like picking out good gifts. Yeah. That's why I like birthdays too though, but still. It's kind of like it's kind of like a game almost, where you can, if you can give somebody a gift, or when they open it, they go... <gasps> yeah. Oh no, you didn't! You know what I mean? Like, I still think that things like, that cost what? no money and they're made are probably like the coolest gifts. Like someone actually goes out of the way to like make something or... I bought my friend a star. Oh yeah, this guy. Cried. See, that's an amazing gift. He bought someone a star I named the Jalapeno Tackle Box. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were the first one to actually pick up the phone. Yeah. When we called, we were trying to find... Because imagine a band called truth. Suicide Silence that wants to give things to kids. Uh, and you're like, whoa, what are they <laughs> what? Our phone? Oh, like, Yeah, you want to kill, yeah. kill all our children? No. We don't. We don't want to give them toys. For the it's child. basically flipping the stereotype upside down to show the polar opposite of what people perceive as to be. People look at what I say on stage or what I do on stage and stuff I write about, and you would never know that I had a daughter or anything like that. But it's 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 what you do on stage. No one in this band's out to do anything wrong. We're out to benefit other people and support other people and have people want to listen to the band, not just because of what we're singing about or what it sounds like, but just all in all, like a positive vibe. This year we're going to do a benefit show. We're going to play a show for free and we're, the admission's going to be a toy that we would deem uh, worthy of Not someone that's going to come through with a 25 cent you, you can't, machine You can't toy, come with you know? a can of soup and a bar of soap. And we're going to do you know a small saying? venue called Chain Reaction in Anaheim and it's going to be a home show and we're going to basically probably do the same thing. At the same time, we're not gonna we're not gonna say, oh, this toy has to be over this amount of money. Well, it yeah. has to be a toy, that, or not even just a toy, like something that would benefit a child or anything, yeah. anybody that could possibly benefit. Last year, we had four <laughs> big shopping carts completely full to the top, overflowing. If we can outdo ourselves and do eight by the time the show's over, when those eight shopping carts are full of. Not, it doesn't have to necessarily be toys, it could be school books, it could be things that kids need, even older kids that need for their education, or things that you need for a or fucking some, science or some, fair. Or like, somebody has like a, like a guitar that they don't play anymore, yeah. like an old guitar, or like anything that they have that they don't use, something that they don't necessarily have to go out and buy something, just something yeah, that they just can something, give. something that would be given and beneficial to anybody else that might not be as fortunate. One, one last question, what do you think is the best thing about Christmas? The giving. Honestly, I've learned this now. Like, I have a five-year-old daughter. She's almost five. She's just about five and a half now. But the actual giving aspect that you're giving to someone that might be in need or someone that might need something or you're giving a gift and the gift of anything, it matter it be life, matter it be a sprinkle on a cupcake, you're giving something and it's a positive. We're Suicide Sides from Riverside, California. Merry, Merry fucking Christmas. Christmas.